Recently, Governor Spencer Cox declared 2024 no kill animal shelter year right here in Utah. I'm John Franke on Utah's Capitol Hill. The governor was flanked at that event by several organizations, including Best Friends Animal Society, a nonprofit led by women working to save thousands of pets every day. It is a really rewarding job. I wouldn't still be doing it after 27 years if it wasn't. Jen Reed has worked in animal welfare for nearly three decades, elevating to a manager position at the Best Friend Sanctuary in Kanab. She says the opportunities for women to succeed have been present there since the early days. So there wasn't necessarily, you know, men's roles and women's roles. It was just, what do we need to do to take care of the animals today? And you jump in and do it. And so I think having that start from the beginning set a precedent. Jen believes that precedent is why 77% of the best friends workforce is female. But this phenomenon isn't limited to best friends. According to career guidance website Zipia, 70% of animal shelter workers nationwide are female. Women bring um, a lot of compassion to this kind of work. Hi, do you want this? That's Amy Kolbecker, the director of the Sanctuary's Cat World. She and others who have worked at Best Friends for years have learned gender is not a barrier to saving animals. <laughs> Christy Gerard, the supervisor of the Sanctuary's Force Haven, has a message for young women who are looking to break barriers themselves. Do it. Do it. 100%. Just go for it. What's, I mean, the worst that can happen is that it's not right. It's not a right fit for you. Um, but then you don't regret that you didn't try. And in the process of breaking through glass ceilings, I would tell any young women to just continue to follow your passion. Doing something that changes the world. Mr. Rogers always said, you know, look for the helpers and we get to be those helpers. Um, and that's such an amazing role to get to, to play every day. Best Friends Animal Society is led by its CEO, Julie Castle. And here's a stat they shared with us. In 2022, the number of animals killed in shelters declined from 700,000 to 378,000. Much of that success is due to the hard work and compassion of women. On Utah's Capitol Hill, John Franke, Fox 13 News, Utah.